What's up everyone and welcome. I really like seeing your beautiful face here. Today's video is going to be quite a different one. We're going to be designing a personal portfolio landing page in Adobe XD. However, instead of making it look absolutely beautiful and stunning and just the way we would want it to be, I'm going to neglect every single UI concept I've learned and I'm going to make it as ugly <laughs> as I possibly can. Now, here is the little trick. I'm going to set myself a time limit. So I'm trying to not go over uh, 15 minutes of my time to actually design this and uh, we'll just see how it goes. And I'm super curious to uh, to know if, uh, if I'll be able to do it. And uh, you know, it's just going to really, really hurt my soul. I'm so like, picky about everything on the web. So me avoiding and not adhering to any UI concepts is just going to be uh, painful. It's going to be painful. Uh, I hope it brings you guys satisfaction. I don't know. I don't know why you would want to see a man in pain, but I guess that's kind of the thing that will entertain you guys. So yes, uh, without any further ado, enjoy my pain. Let me grab a stopwatch and uh, let's start uh, now. Okay, so where do I want to start with this? Well. I definitely uh, don't want to leave a white background. I feel like white background is quite minimalistic and nice. So we're going to go for something that is... Uh... <sighs> okay, okay, let's, let's... It's not bad right now. It's still, it's still doing quite well. I'm just going to, you know, ad adjust this. Um, like so. And now I just had an idea. Because usually we would want things to touch the edges. I'm going to, <laughs> oh my God, yes. Yes, this is what I like. This is what we are doing. Okay, <laughs> oh my God. So I'm going to play around with some 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 really strange designs. Uh, okay, so let's make a triangle here and let's, okay. And that was made by accident, but I'm going to keep that one. Let's keep it as a loss of fate. Uh, and I'm going to give them some obscure colors like this. Oh just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting if you, if you know where I'm coming from. Get rid of this border and give it like a, hmm, something that will like contrast. Oh, like pink, I guess pink. Why is the fill not working? Okay, here we go. And uh, let, let's just do a circle, like a random circle because uh, why would we follow all, oh, ooh, ooh. okay, so, uh, usually I would avoid trying to put things in the middle because that's where the text will be. But in this case, I just needed to faff it around a little bit. I hate this green background. It's just, it hurts. It really hurts what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to do a quick menu bar. The first thing is going to be home. Why is it red and why is it uh, this font? But it just, it's just perfect. Well, thank you for whoever is deciding on my pain factor, but this really hurts. Uh, contact me uh, project <laughs> yeah I'm just going to leave it like this okay so home contact me in projects and usually I would position it right in the middle where is the middle there we go but in this case I'm going to this line it I think the size is absolutely perfect okay now we need like a call to action so who are you so I'm going to say uh, I'm Philip uh, uh, web developer and designer now of course we can't stick to the same font uh, to follow convention so we have to use a different font uh, which I'm going to use for this one <laughs> Yes, perfect. And I'm going to change the size because obviously we don't want this to be the most important text uh, like we always do. So let's make it 20. Okay, that's a little bit too small. Uh, let's not let's not joke around, but I think this is going to be perfect. So this is definitely our call to action and that's what we're going to do. Now I'm having a little bit of inspiration and I want to create a rectangle and I want to round the edges to like 50. And uh, I want to get rid of the fill but I want to give it a color and I want that color to be maybe pink, like really bright pink. And let's put the size of this to like 20. Yes, 
Yes, and this is going to be like kind of where we showcase the person that we are. Yes, I think uh, I think we're so far doing quite well. Now, I'm going to pause the stopwatch here for a second and I want to distract you from this horrible and absolutely painful piece of work and tell you about today's sponsor, which is Zyro. If you want your website to be really easy to build and look a million times better than what we've just created, Look no further. Zyro is an amazing website builder with tons of beautiful designer-made templates that I approve of. It also has drag and drop features which allow you to build a website in a matter of minutes. As you may know, because Zyro is a website builder, it will automatically allow you to host the website and it will give you a domain name that you can use. So you don't have to worry about trying to learn how to host and deploy a website on a specific domain. Once you deploy your website, you can be sure that it's going to be lightning fast. And if you ever come across any issues and you need help, there is 24 seven live chat support from Zyro uh, workers where they will help you resolve your issue. And trust me, they're super kind and extremely helpful. You can get a huge discount on Zyro with my promotional code. To be exact, you will get up to 72% off, plus a free extra three months if you subscribe to a yearly plan. That will literally be less than $3 a month for having a website hosted and performing really, really well, which I think is a bang for the buck. To redeem this offer, use the promotional code Philip or the link in my description and start building your personal portfolios and show your amazing projects to the rest of the world. Okay, so we're restarting the time and we're continuing with this uh, <laughs> beautiful design, I guess. No, it's not. I just can't look at this. It's just so horrible. I'm having a, I'm having, I'm having a breakdown. Like this goes against all, all the things I believe in. What can I do without getting too distracted? I really don't like this, uh, this, this border. It has a border. Yeah, there we go. Um, I want to add a picture. I want to add a picture uh, of someone. So uh, let's just jump on the web. Let's go on pexels.com. And let's search for handsome, some handsome man. Okay, let's scroll. Ah, I'm going to go for this one. So let's just download this. Okay, and I'm going to drag this into Adobe XD. Like so. And we're going to shrink it. Right, and I have a bit of a vision for this. So I think it will look nice if we kind of round the corners and if we keep it a little bit bougie and kind of rotate it. Now, I think it would look nice if we maybe uh, push this kind of frame here that we have on top of the picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm seeing this. Okay, now, Actually, I feel like this text just has to be a little bit bigger too for it, for people to be able to see it. Yeah, this is what I like. So, okay, so we've got this here. I feel like this should like go over the top of his eyes maybe to make it like, um, you know, like different. So if I just put that to the very top and uh, there is this trick to make text stand out and I'm going to use it here. We're just going to put like a little border like so and then put that border behind the text and make it slightly bigger. Now, I think that uh, is a great introduction. Now, what are we missing from this uh, personal portfolio? I feel like I feel like these white bits here, they just need to be filled out. They just they just need to be filled out. So um, I'm going to take this whole screen and I'm going to give this a color, maybe of something yellowish like so and then i'll just whack it at the very bottom and let's have a look at this yes yes i'm philip web developer and designer and then uh, let's create like a, a social media icons uh, let's do those quickly so uh let's not uh keep to uh, convention and uh, I'm going to, rather than use the icons, because that just would be the thing to do, I'm going to type the text. And um, instead of putting it in little square buttons, I'm gonna make like little elongated circles. I'm gonna copy them three times. And then I'm going to drag them. Position this one here, position this one here, and position this one here. Okay, perfect. And uh, let's get rid of their, their borders, so it looks like it's sinking, <laughs> sinking into the background. Oh my god. If anyone recreates this, I'm going to send you a prize. This is a challenge for anyone who wants to, you know, uh, recreate this uh, landing page portfolio. Uh, okay, and now let's type the text. So, let's do fa Facebook. 
<laughs> oh, yes, let's not align it inside. Uh, Facebook, Twitter. <laughs> oh God. Yes, I'm fe <laughs> I'm feeling this. <laughs> oh my God, this is so ugly. Oh, let's pick the same color. Yes, that would be the thing to do. Let's just pick the same color. And uh, this one, and this one. Right, we've got two minutes left. What can we do in two minutes to make this even better? Um, maybe let's add some like uh, coolish design that makes no sense. So maybe I'll drag like a line here. Wait, no, that's not the one. Um, I wanted the box and I wanted to draw like two little containers here and another one coming down like so, which is of course a different size and another one which is a little bit bigger. And then uh, I want to get rid of their borders. Um, get rid of the borders here. Get rid of the borders. I give them color. Ooh, ooh, yes. Yes, because color is the thing about websites. Why is it not changing color? Come on. Select, highlight. I want like a yes, just to make it kind of seem like it's supposed to be like that. And then, not the border, but the color. Okay, and stop. Oh my god. <sighs> this, is, this is horrible. I, I didn't even realize I had the skill to make such horrible websites. <laughs> <laughs> this is my like on the spot vision of what I would consider uh, really ugly and just uh, not nice. Imagine, imagine if there's a website like this. If anyone recreates this website, I'm going to send you a prize, I swear. If you make it look like this, I send you a prize. Wow, the colors are contrasting, it's hard to read, fonts are not matched. Uh, there is like no calls to action. It's just uh, it's just a landing page of someone who clearly is not a designer. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, that is it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. If you want to see more, smash the thumbs up button even more. And uh, of course, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye.